vision and goals, the top piece of your recruiting framework. This is the Recruit Me Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 175. Welcome to the longest running podcast on recruiting and athletic scholarships. I'm John Fugler, athletic scholarship coach and a dad of two scholarship athletes. I'm also the CEO of Recruit Me, podcaster, author, and speaker. This podcast is 15 minutes that so will change your scholarship future, so I dig in and give you takeaways you can use immediately. And as we hit the tail end of 2019, man, I have got a great series I'm in the middle of. Started it last week about your recruiting framework. If you haven't listened, go back and listen. So why a recruiting framework? Well, and what is it? (laughs) Well, I'll tell you what it is, but here's why. It keeps you inside the court to compete. It helps you stay on course with a framework. It makes you accountable. It forces you to focus, no wandering around. It increases your intensity, creates success, and protects you from wasting time and money. And another thing it does, too, is it prevents failure. The recruiting framework, we got four pieces to this. We're going to go through the top piece today. If you stay within this framework, you're going to be on your road to success. Now, you say that that's quite a promise, John. Well, I believe it. I've seen it. And I've thought this through as one to share it with you, then this is it. I really believe this. So go back and listen to the previous episode. And uh, as you see, I'm very enthusiastic and committed to this. But today, we're going to talk about vision and goals. It's the top piece of the recruiting framework because, man, you want to shoot for the moon. You want to you want to go for the best. Uh, I mean, sure, you got to stay within your, your talent and academic level, but you really got to shoot high. And even before goals, you got to set your vision. What is your vision? What does life look like for you as an athlete or parents, your son or daughter? What, what does it look like for them, say, one year from now? If a year from now, they're going to be in college. Uh, maybe it's two years from now. What, what does it look like when they enter their freshman year in college? I mean, paint that picture. Be really specific about that. The vision of what it will look like. Competing on an athletic scholarship, it definitely wants to look like that, doesn't it? And it wants to look like a place where you are a great fit. You're making friends on the first day. You sense that the, the chemistry is, is, is just what you're looking for. You've done your homework and, and, and you're at a place where, yeah, this is the right school. You got confidence. This is the place. And you got a spot on the team. <laughs> at least you know you do. You still have to earn it to keep it. But at least you're starting with a spot on the team and you are wanted by that coach. Now, those are some of the things. C- create, write down your vision for what you want it to look like for you a year from now, two years from now, whatever it might be in uh, your the fall of your freshman year or your athlete's freshman year. So you got to do that. Make it crystal clear. Just a paragraph. Write it out narratively as to what you would like it to look like. Because as you go through the the trenches here of pursuing an athletic scholarship, and you may be there already, you know it's hard. You know it can be discouraging. You know you can have setbacks. But you get the vision out there, it'll make a difference. And I'll tell you, I'm a visionary. So I always, when I'm going after something big, I always set a vision. I've got a life vision that I've set for myself, a life vision. I feel God's given me this vision, and um, I've I've written it out, and I'm pursuing it. And it has really helped me stay focused. It's kept me motivated, and I know it'll help you too. Uh, It's really important. You may never have heard this before. Well, pursuing an athletic scholarship, well, my vision is I want to get a scholarship. Yeah, but you know, there's, you got to be more specific than that. Close your eyes, dream a little bit, and put it out there of where you want to be and what that looks like. Describe it in detail. Okay, so that's what a vision is. Now, goals are different. You got to have goals. Uh, and one of those goals might be, yes, get an athletic scholarship at a Big Ten school or get an athletic scholarship at a, uh, a Christian university or get an athletic scholarship at a top 25 school, whatever it might be. Um, get an athletic scholarship in my state. <laughs> I don't know. What is your goal? 
of course, you want to get the athletic scholarship. So that's one of your goals. Um, how about your your life goals, even beyond competing in your sport? How do you want your life and what might it look like? What are some goals that you may have at this point for your life? Parent, you need to talk to your son or daughter about this. This may be the conversation that you've been waiting to have with them, but it, it's all part of pursuing the athletic scholarship because the scholarship isn't the end all. You want them to be equipped for life. So what are those life goals? Goals will give you confidence. You set goals and you set vision, you'll have more confidence, more confidence as you, you move forward, something to hang your hat on. Uh, when I talk about goals, here, here's what I want to share with you. You got to have overall goals, say throughout this whole athletic scholarship journey, what are some goals that you have? And they could be athletic, you'll have academic goals, you'll have other goals as well, performance goals, um, maybe some training goals. These these need to be set and then reset. I believe that everybody, especially with January coming up, man, this is the perfect time to get serious about your goals. Go ahead and set your goals for 2020. Sit down, spend some time, set your vision, set your goals. What do you want life to look like for you? What are your goals in 2020? By the end of 2020, what do you hope to achieve? And then back it up a little bit. What are your goals uh, by the end of the school year? What are your goals June 1st? Um, those are maybe easier to, to be more specific about and steps to get there. Even what are your goals by spring break? What, what are your goals by spring break in this whole scholarship thing? So as you set these goals, I'm talking about maybe numbers of schools that you want to contact numbers of coaches that have contacted you, a uh, number of schools that you have visited, say, in the next year. Uh, these things are checkpoints along the way. If you have these checkpoints laid out and set those goals, then you have the goals, you can take the action to achieve those goals. Uh, your actions won't be stray and they won't be all over the place, but you have something that you know you're going after you're setting your goals just like you do in your sport. I mean, I know you've got goals in your sport. You've got goals for the your life. You've got goals for your season. You've got goals for the next game or the next match, the next meet, whatever it might be. You have got goals. You, you, maybe you've got something coming up tomorrow where you're competing tomorrow and you've got a goal already set. Well, this same type of mentality transfers over into your sport. So set goals. I, I mean... This is critical. If you don't have goals, your chances of getting an athletic scholarship decrease by 78%. I just made that up, okay? <laughs> I just made that up, but I, I got your attention, didn't I? It is big, though. It's big, and I can't remember what the number is about what I'm going to say here. Not only do you want to have goals, but you've got to write them down. And if you write them down, if you write them down, then you do have a much larger chance of achieving of achieving your goal. So you got to write them down. In fact, uh, one of the projects that I'm working on that I've I've never really, I have not even announced this before, but I am working on this. is This came about as I was planning this series of podcasts, episodes, um, and I've been thinking about this for about a year. <laughs> I didn't set a goal. <laughs> so it never got done, but now I have a goal to get it done by the end of the year. Yeah, in uh, about three weeks, I'm putting out a an athletic scholarship recruiting planner that you can use in all the planning and goal setting and activities and checkpoints, everything you do all in one place where you can document it, you can write it down, you can... Uh, there's going to be things in there that uh, will help you grade schools. There'll be a scouting report that you can have on each of the programs. There'll be a, uh, a page for each school you visit so you can evaluate that school and can document what you, what you did. There'll be a lot of other things in there. But one thing, one thing this is going to ride on, and that is you're going to set goals every single week. 
I'm going to have you set annual goals, monthly goals, and then weekly goals, activities to achieve those goals. Uh, And as you keep coming back and make a habit of this, you're going to see progress and you'll be documenting it as well. So the journal is coming out. My goal is to get it done by the end of this month. I guarantee it will be published in January and uh, it'll be on Amazon, just like my athletic scholarship playbook. Uh, This is the first time I've announced this. I'm really thrilled. I have been working with my designer and she's pulling it all together. Uh, I have concepts, but whenever I bring something to her to put into reality, she comes back with a fantastic design. And this is going to be practical, and it's going to help you get an athletic scholarship. So that's the announcement. You know, no fireworks, just the fact that, hey, look for the Athletic Scholarship Recruiting Planner, which will come out in January. So when you set your goals, and I did mention writing them down, and I would even say as you write them down, maybe even put them on an index card and post them somewhere that you're going to see them. Setting goals, even writing them down, that's good. But putting them where you can see them, making them visible, that's even better. You have got a lot of things that are vying for your time and attention. If you don't post those goals, then you're not going to take action to reach those goals. They're going to be, uh, somebody said, uh, vision leaks. You know, we could have a great vision, but over a period of time, it just leaks. It becomes less uh, clear. Um, It's squishy, uh, it loses its excitement, and you got to remind yourself. And you can remind each other as a family about what is our vision. And the same thing is with goals. They can escape you unless you write them down and post them. So I would urge you to go ahead and do that. So that's that's the first piece. It's the top piece of the recruiting framework. Now, what I want you to do this week, right, this is your homework, I gave you homework last week, but this is your homework this week. I want you simply to write in one sentence your vision statement, a one-sentence vision statement. So that's that's the one thing I want you to do. What does life look like uh, your freshman year in college, your son or daughter's freshman year in college, a vision statement? What Man, what do you want to achieve? And secondly, take that and... Then write a paragraph or two uh, with specifics, with paint a picture of what that vision looks like. Not just one statement, get your feelings into it. Get some words on paper that uh, are so clear and describe what life is like for you as an athlete the fall of your freshman year in college. Parents, you work with your son or daughter on this. This has got to be theirs. Yeah, you can have your own vision statement on the side. And maybe you keep it to yourself. You don't put too much pressure on your kid, but uh, it, it will help you to have a vision statement as well. But together, what is this, this vision statement? One statement and then a paragraph so you can elaborate on that. Would you do that for me before next week? Would you do that? Um, thank you. Thank you. If you need help, if you're not clear on that, go ahead and email me, john at recruitme.com, john at recruit hyphen me. Dot com. I do want to mention also the Athletic Scholarship Playbook. As you're getting your act together for 2020, this is a great resource. Go on Amazon. You can also get it as an audiobook. I would encourage you to go to Audible or Amazon, and the Athletic Scholarship Playbook is there as an audiobook, and you can uh, wander with me through every chapter. So that's what I have for you this week. You got your homework. You got your Uh, You got your first assignment this week, and so next Tuesday, come back and turn in your homework. Next Tuesday, we're going to talk about the the bottom leg. I got the top leg, the bottom leg of this recruiting framework, okay? I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. God bless you. Have Have a great week, okay?